two poems. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do uh, this one, and later on, uh, we'll be closing with a poem. These poems are both in Welsh, and they they actually are both by the same poet, um, John Hughes, whose bardic name is Ceriog. And let me uh, very briefly explain. Bardic names are uh, poets in in Wales. Poets and writers will often take a pen name or a sort of a stage name. And these are used in the Eisteddfod tradition. Eisteddfod is um, a, a wonderful cultural celebration that it, it, it's got, we think, rather ancient roots, but was also sort of revived into a um, maybe a, a neo-Welsh tradition. Um, I, I think about I don't know, 200, 300 years ago thereabouts. Um, put up my dates wrong. But uh, the idea is, and, and there's a sort of, let's say a championship structure where there are local ice that fall die, and then you move up to a regional ice that fall, and this culminates with the national ice that fall, uh, which is still held in every year in Wales, and it goes to a different city, and it's a massive festival of poetry, storytelling, singing, uh, dance, folk art, you name it, uh, essays, all of it. Uh, there, are, there are any number of different categories, composition, recitation, and so on. Um, but uh, particularly with poetic composition, uh, they are submitted under a bardic name. So you don't know who this person is. It could be your neighbor. You don't want to be prejudiced. <laughs> so they make up a name and it becomes their bardic name and they write under this name and this is what they submit their, their works to uh, for the Isetvid. And the bard is then, uh, who, or uh, pardon me, the winner is, is then called upon by uh, the bards who, who say you know, when, when the main prize is called a bardic chair, the chair, <laughs> it's literally a chair and at the end of the, the culmination of the Isetfid, the bard is, or the, the, the poet is called upon who won by their bardic name. And to this point, absolutely no one knows who he is in reality until he stands up and comes up and accepts his um, bardic chair. So that's why uh, John Keriog was, um, or John Hughes was called Keriog, and they, they keep this name and, and it becomes attached to all their poems. So the poem that I'm going to recite for you is, the first one is called Nant Manat, it means mountain stream. And this is written by a, a young man. He was about 18 years old. He had recently uh, gone over to England um, to work, to find work. There just wasn't work to be found where he was. And he was feeling quite homesick, which in, in Welsh, there's a, a word called, uh, the word is hiraith. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit more than just homesickness, but it doesn't translate into English. It's, it's a uniquely Welsh thing. So he was feeling a bit of hiraith when he wrote this. He was, he was missing home. He was missing the, the mountain streams. He was missing seeing the heather on the, on the mountainside. He was missing the little birdies flying between the peaks. And that's what this poem is about. It's rather, it's rather idyllic in, um, and pastoral and, and, and lovely, and it's called Nantamana. Nantamana gen keriog. Nantamana throyo loyo onam droisi te apant, krungi broin and sisil gani, on a barni vel anand. Grieg mana than a blodai, edrigan and hirai sieg. Angalara starbrunia. And are all well level Greek. A dan mana manadico, God in Tamawa yach, only steam a flash and head it. On a bound veil there in bach. Ma the mana the dweevine, Odi cartre the name pan. On mine halon and a mana, level Greek a dan man. Thank you very much. And I think now we're going to do a video about Welsh quilting and blankets from uh, our friend 
in Wales, Jen Jones. Uh, may I have someone who will share and talk about it first? Or I can share oh, it now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was, I was going to talk a little bit about it. Uh, the, the Jen Jones, uh, she runs a, a quilting center in, oh, I think it's uh, Lampeter in Wales. And she has, for many years now, collected quilts. Uh, the, the just very simple, some of them very elaborate, but all of them of the Welsh quilting tradition. And she will talk more about it in the video, but um, 